Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today in this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade any blueprint in the game for free. So yeah, as you guys know there are a lot of requirements for the uh, upgrade process and uh, I'm going to show you how to pretty much just skip all of that and will not ask you for anything. So I'm going to come at uh, one of the craft masters here and as you can see I bought all the blueprints when I go to the upgrade section. These are all the items I need to upgrade. Now to upgrade the first three levels for any blueprint, it's, it's quite easy because all it asks you is uncommon and a rare trophy. Like you can see here, it's asking for an uncommon trophy, just five of them. It's all very easy. But if you upgrade it, it will say it will require another like a rare trophy too. That is also easy, but the more you upgrade, the more items it will ask and it will reach a point where you will struggle to upgrade it to the max. Well, I have a trick for you that will actually skip both of these things it will not ask you for any trophy or any other item the only thing it will ask you for is the old world money that is 850 so the money that you see here that is the only thing that will be required for this trick so this trick was found by one of the uh, reddit users and one of my uh, subscribers actually sent me this through twitter so you shout it to them and yeah let me show you how to do this now like i said you will actually require the money to do this trick well if you're struggling with the money they there's the, another video I have in the link will be in the description. It's called I found a thing and I found a thing in the sunken city where you have a lot of crystals. You can sell them. You can make millions in just a few minutes. So just go watch that video, get a lot of money and come and do this trick. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the craft parts. Now, as you can see here, there are a lot of the um, uh, crafting materials. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm actually gonna buy these, but I'm not gonna complete the whole process. I'm gonna actually wait until the circle that you see here, this thing rotating, almost reaches the pot like this. Like you see, as soon as it touches the pot, as soon as the process completes, it just uh, opens up another menu. I don't want that. What I'm gonna do is the moment it touches that, the moment the loading thing is complete, I'm gonna switch to another menu by pressing Q on my PC. So I'm gonna switch to the upgrade menu. For you, if you are a console player, it will be most likely L1 on PlayStation. Not sure about the Xbox, but all you gotta do is move like this, you see? Just press the button, what do we see on the top? This is what you gotta do. So let me show you just a quick, quick example of what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna buy this and I'm gonna press Q at the same time for you, it will be L1. So uh, it takes quite practice. I haven't done a lot of these, but um, yeah, this is how it should happen. You should be able to move to the other screen and to do it perfectly. You should be able to upgrade the blueprint. Oh, by the way, uh, let me just talk about something as well. Let me just quickly uh, show you that. There you go. Just upgraded a blueprint and it didn't just take anything, just the money. That's all it took. So I'm going to do it again just to show you. Right. So when this happens, remember this screen. When this shit happens, do not buy this. If you buy this, your game crashes. Just a fair warning. Do not buy this. Just press escape. Just exit this out when you see that thing happening. Do not buy it. Right? It works with a stack, it works with a single item, just don't buy it. If you buy that, your game crashes, so do not do it. So yeah, I'm going to try to do the trick again. There you go. Just upgrade it another time. I'm going to back, go back again, and I'm going to try it again. There you go. You see? I moved here because the rarity changed. And now, as you can see, it asks for the... Uh, th there's a lot more required items here. Now, it ask, it's asking you for a one unique item, which one unique trophy, which is all good. You can get it easily. But the more we upgrade, it's going to ask for more items. So let's try it and keep repeating that. But we can do that for the single item as well. But I don't really recommend that because what happens when you do it with a single item, it just basically sells it sometimes. So there's no way to like buy it back. So I just do it with the stacks. But you can still do it. If you time it correctly, there you go. <laughs> just bought it, which is what happens usually. But it doesn't really matter because uh, we still have a lot of crafting parts here. And that, like I said, if, if this all thing, uh, you know, if you if you just sell all of the items from the craft parts and you're not able to do the trick, just load up the game again. You should be fine. Well, keep doing that. Like you see, I could just upgrading it. And um, just works fluently with the, with the controller but on pc it's just oh man it's just a hard thing to do but once you get used to it it's it's kind of more easy i haven't done this because since uh, I, I made this new save which, uh, like the new save file just to show you guys you know this trick uh, otherwise i had like already all the things maxed in my other saves but um like why not make this thing 
because it uh, should be really useful. There you go. Now you can see it's going to ask for six uh, unique trophies, 25 uncommon and nine rare. Now these are the items. You can All of the items can be upgraded. But uh, um, if you guys are confused about, you know, the paragliders, grappling hook, because those things are going to be on the top as well, well, you can still upgrade those items. Yes, it will not ask you for any of the military, military circuit. It's not going to ask you for any of the all the stuff. All it's going to take is that money from you, right? Like you see, eight one thousand eight hundred fifty coins is going to be gone when I upgrade this thing. That's all it takes there's nothing else there you go it's almost maxed out that's so crazy how this shit works but it's taking a lot of money that's why doing that other trick is very important go to the sunken city found the sun uh the swamp bolter and do the trick that i mentioned in my other video it's very easy there you go just fully upgraded my c4 and i'm gonna go quickly show you guys what i have here so fully upgraded without actually you know using any of the other items asked other than just the money money plays a major role in this trick and like i said getting the money is not at all a big deal in this game especially considering how many bugs we have in the game you don't really have to do anything it just shows up all the, all the things happen in front of you So yeah, I hope you guys found this trick uh, helpful. Uh, the guy who actually found this thing, he posted a video on the Reddit. Uh, all credits to him. And a huge shout out to the guy who actually told me on Twitter. Um, I'm going to have his name up there uh, during the edit, but don't remember his name. Um, thank you so much, by the way, for sending me this video. And um, thank you so much for the guy who actually made this and shared it with the community. It freaking helps. But um, I do want to say one more thing. Um, it's just someone who's trying this this trick is for someone who just wants to you know get through the game easily wants to just you know move on to the other game um for someone like speedrunners or anything i feel like this game uh, this trick would be uh, quite helpful but for people who are uh, planning to play this game for a longer time like just uh, just want to have fun with the game and everything I do not recommend this trick um there are other ways to upgrade it and trust me exploring is a best way to to basically get all the items and do it because when i did it i fucking had a lot of fun and uh, i tell you that's the best way to do it you, gonna, you guys are gonna love it but there are people who like to skip through the stuff and get all the stuff for them like early in the game well you can do it um don't really matter you guys choose what you're gonna do with your game right nobody tells you what to do um also, one more thing I would like to mention is whenever you try to do this trick, just make sure to look at the money it's required to actually upgrade it. If the money required is higher than what you have, this trick will not work. It's not like it's going to bypass that. You will need the amount of money required. So look at here. Like I said, it requires 1,750 coins, whereas I have 1,480. So it's not going to work. It doesn't matter how many times I try. So if I have the money, well, it will work. Let me show you that. So now I like I have 11,000 coins with me. I'm going to do this thing again and I should be able to upgrade it. There you go. Was not able to do it before because I had uh, there was a lack of money. So um, it's very easy and I just maxed it out. It's so easy guys. Give it a try. You guys are going to love it.